Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I had a fun concept for a video and I wanted to go ahead and film that and share it with you. Basically the scenario is, is that you are getting ready to do your makeup and you are missing a chunk of product. So let's pretend that in your makeup bag you had your eyeshadows, you had your blushes, and you had your face highlighters. But luckily for you, you do have a palette. For me, that palette is the NYX Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek Palette. Now, I really would pack this palette when I was traveling, and there's a couple of reasons why. First of all, inside of here, you get 15 eyeshadows, and you've got a mix of finishes. You've got some that are matte, some that are sheen or shiny, and then you've got some that are shimmery or glittery. You've also got four different blushes, and again, you've got some that are matte, some that are shimmery, and a range of colors, and then you've got three face highlighters or illuminators. In addition to all of those, this palette comes with a nice big mirror, because the palette that I'm using for the challenge has eyeshadow, blush, and highlighters. I'm not going to use any other eyeshadow, blush, or highlighter for my look. If you want to play this fun palette tag challenge, please feel free. Tag me in your videos, tell me what palette you decided to use, and show me your look. On a large fluffy brush, I am going to take a vanilla color here, and I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid. I'm using a Sigma E40 blending brush just to get that color in there. I want this color from lash line to brow bone. With a Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to take this sparkly gold shadow and place it all over the lid. With a sparkly shadow, you can get a lot of fallout, so I'm making sure to first pat the color on the lid before I start making back and forth swiping motions. With this matte brown shade and that same Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to darken the outer crease. First by placing the color on the very outer corner, slowly bringing it into the crease towards the inner corner of my eye. Once I have that shadow placed, I will then go ahead and start to blend that color out with this fluffy blending brush. Using that same Sigma E40 brush from before, I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines. I'm going to do my eyeliner next. I'm using my favorite liquid liner. This is Prestige Liquid Eyeliner in Black. And I'm just going to trace my lash line, getting a little bit thicker towards the outer corner. And then I'm just going to add a wing. This is a signature eyeliner look for me. I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl with my ELF eyelash curler before moving on to mascara. Today's mascara is Voluminous Carbon Black in Very Black. And I'm just going to apply two coats of that, making sure that I go all the way down from the base of my lash through the tips for maximum effect. Picking up that same matte brown from earlier, I am going to define the lower lash line. I'm just going to use a pencil brush to smudge this on the outer portion of the eye. Then I'm going to take that gold sparkly shadow and put that on the inner corner of the eye all the way over and blending the two in the middle, basically directly below my pupil. Now that I have that shadow smudged out under there, I'm just going to take that same mascara from before and add some to my lower lash line. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. We'll be moving on to eyebrows next. 
I'm going to be using my current favorite product for this, Sephora Waterproof Retractable Brow Pencil in 02 Nutmeg Brown. I'm starting on the tail end of my eyebrow with the arch defining that, and then with short, light pressure, I move on to the front of my eyebrow. Last, I just run through them with the spoolie to make sure everything is in place and perfect. I'm going to use one of the sponge tip applicators that came in this palette and this very shimmery shade to highlight under the brow bone and to add a little bit of sparkle to the inner corner of my eyes. This is very quick and easy, but gives that last little bit of pizzazz. I want to add a little bit of color to my face with ELF Cool Bronzer. I'm just going to sweep some of this on my cheeks, my temples, underneath my chin, and then I am going to blend vigorously. For today's blush, I've gone with this pinky color, and I'll apply that to the apples of my cheeks with my ELF blush brush and sweep that back to the hairline. A lot of blending is involved with making your blush look natural. Highlight is one of the last steps and I'm going to go ahead and use this yellow toned highlighter in the palette with a small fluffy brush. I'm just going to place this on the tops of my cheekbones, blending that in with my finger. I'm then also going to add a little bit of this to my forehead in the center, down the top of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And then I'm just going to blend that for a subtle glow. Lips are last. This is Mauve Mania Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 4 Five zero. I love the creamy formula of these lipsticks and this is actually a new color that I just picked up. This is the first time that I am using it. I think this could be a contender for my lips but better. So I'm just putting that on top and bottom, no liner or anything like that. And this is our finished makeup look. Here is the look with hair and outfit done. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and check out my blog, teachinstyle.com. Bye!